Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this video, I'm going to be trying to learn a new trick with my slingshot in the area of shooting rocks. Stay tuned. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to 411 Outdoors. My name is Daniel Irvin and this channel is devoted to everything outdoors that we love. I love a lot of things. I love survival. I love weapons. I love slingshots, knives, axes, archery, camping, backpacking, tutorials, reviews, and all the rest. I hope you find this channel resourceful. If you do, I'd be honored to have you as a subscriber and would be super excited. Now let's get started. I'm outside enjoying this beautiful fall morning. You know, I, there's a lot of things I love about all seasons, but I'm most definitely a fall guy. I love fall better than any other season. And I wanted to get outside this morning while it was nice and crisp. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be working on something in the area of slingshots. This is nothing new. In fact, it's everything old. As a shooter, I typically shoot my slingshot from the side in the gangster position. When I first got into slingshots, I had a wrist rocket that I had bought. Many of you know what I'm talking about. I wasn't able to get really effective with a wrist rocket. But I remember growing up, you know, people would shoot these natural fork slingshots and people were shooting rocks. And I did a video a while back on just the whole subject of shooting stones and rock chucking all together. But in this video, I wanna learn something new and I wanted to make a, a video about this whole process. The other day I was out shooting, I was making one of my training montage videos and I wanted to include in that uh, some rock shooting with my slingshot and um, I was missing left and right. It took me forever to make a connection. <laughs> but then I did something, I turned it upright and shot this way, started making a connection. So what I wanna do is I wanna try to improve on this process. I know there's a lot of pros watching this video I know there's a lot of you who shoots like this. That's your preferred method. I'm new to it. I, I typically don't shoot that way, but I wanna learn to shoot rocks that way and rocks specifically. This video is all about shooting stones, all about rock chucking. Now, I wanna show you, uh, back when I was into making tree fork slingshots, back earlier in the year, I was going and cutting them left and right. It was just an obsession and uh, made a lot of different frames, but these were my two favorites. Uh, they basically the same. One's like pat red, one's black. I've got, you know, pretty heavy bands on these, one millimeter thickness latex from Simple Shot, and these rock chucker pouches. This is a rock chucker pouch from Sling uh, from Simple Shot, and this is actually a rock chucker pouch from Fowler Makery and Mischief. I want to attempt to get good at shooting rocks upright. Now I'm just sticking with rocks for now with regards to upright shooting. All other shooting, I like to go this way. I wanna see if I can improve my accuracy by shooting upright when it comes to stones. I gotta be straightforward with you. Sometimes, you know, shooting rocks is, uh, it's a little scary for me. It just seems like there's a lot more dangers and hazards that can take place. I've seen rocks veer off. I've seen rocks do some crazy things when I'm shooting them from the slingshot. It's just very different from shooting clay or steel ammo slingshots are dangerous um for me i'm i'm gonna be wearing these gloves I, i'm i wear gloves most of the time doing everything that i do i've taken knife injuries to the hand i've i've hit my hand before with slingshot ammo it doesn't feel good i read the other day that somebody broke their index finger with three eighths ammo rocks just i don't know they scare me a little bit but it gives me a rush it gives me a rush to take a stone and crush an object with it because these things hit hard as always protect those eyes my friend so let's take some shots and let's see how we can do so i bought all of these stones at hardware stores i just didn't feel like going out in the creek bed and gathering this stuff up this is just a pile of little river stones, little pond stones that I get, you know, that people craft with and stuff at a hardware store. So for me, this is kind of like the ideal stone that I'm looking for, for rock chucking. You know, that's, that's about as good as it's going to get. You know, that's one of the most evenly shaped rocks I've got in this pile. And I've got several like this. So I've measured out, I'm about 23 steps away from my target. So let's give this a go. Let's see how I can do shooting upright. Cause I don't shoot this way. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to learn how to do this. And if I have success with this, this is how I'm gonna start shooting rocks. I just feel better about shooting them this way. Try to get the aiming method down with this. 
epic fail on that first shot. <laughs> Let's keep going. What? Second try, shooting up right. On this video, I'm gonna take about 10 shots. We're gonna see how many I get. I'm not doing any edits. I'm just gonna see how many shots I get. And I'm using these little white stones right now. Let's try this again. Miss, a little bit to the right. Just slightly over the top. Kind of sucking right now. But you gotta start somewhere. Again, I'm new to this. Right over the top. So, so far, I'm like, I'm like one for five. <laughs> oh man, I'm like a kid with this stuff sometimes. I'm shooting at a very tiny little Dr. Pepper can, so it's a small target. Two for six. Let's keep going. See if we can up my averages a little bit. It didn't come back toward me, but it gave me a good scare. I hit a tree and it just veered off in the other direction a million miles an hour. Two for seven. Misfire. Three for eight. Three for nine. Got to see if I can at least be four for 10. A little embarrassed right now, but got to start somewhere. Three for 10. Three for 10. So let me correct myself right in the middle of this video. I don't know where I got this three for 10 stuff. Maybe I dreamed it. Two for 10. 20% today, my friends. Sorry about the miscount. What can I say, my friends? I sucked real good today. Give me a round of applause for sucking really bad and putting forth my best effort. Here's the deal though. I really want to learn how to shoot rocks this way. So I'm going to get out here and practice, practice, practice until I get good at shooting rocks this way. I know I could shoot them this way and maybe in the long run would be more accurate like I am with my other slingshot shooting, but I don't want to shoot rocks that way. I want to mix it up and I want to learn how to shoot both ways, especially when I'm shooting rocks. I feel like this is a little bit safer with regards to rock shooting. That's just me. You might disagree, but it's just what I want to do. The point of this video is to tell you to get out and have fun, try new things, be willing to fail, be willing to go through all the learning curves to figure it all out. So, experts, I'm calling on you. If you're good at shooting up right like this, I want to hear from you in the comments section. Help a slingshot brother out. I appreciate all of you. Have a great day.